very kind of this very teenage mood as him, which I wanted to kind of steal. Have you met a stranger who bears a close physical resemblance to you? Self that I am now, so. Are they long lost twins? Are their parents related? Are they sperm donors shipped across the world and raised in totally separate families? Well, okay, I'll admit, they probably just look alike. Charlie Chasen and Michael Malone. I just think we really were just kind of meant to be friends. I feel like we'll be friends forever, right? But at the same time, we'll, we'll be in a, a book where we're there forever. Uh, people call me, you know, they always say they love me in a born identity. So Mark and I have a deal. If, 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 if we're mistaken for one another, we have to be as polite as possible. Family members look much more alike on average. demonstrating that human faces are clearly heritable. But how about strangers who resemble each other? They're like this in an all new and entertaining high when they wore the same clothes to the Tonight Show and even did a drum off. Who knew Will Ferrell could play drums? We were tricking you that whole time. This is Chad Smith and I'm Will Ferrell. Actually. Zach Braff is an actor, director, screenwriter, and producer born in the U.S. He is, to everyone I know, J.D. from the TV show Scrubs. Zach Shepard, on the other hand, is an actor, director, and... Wait, they do a lot of the same stuff. He's known for his role in the film Without a Paddle, Sathura, A Space Adventure, among others. While Dax's and Zach's professional lives haven't crossed paths much, they do have very similar features. The only difference is that Zach's features are a little more rugged, while Dax looks like he's been airbrushed to perfection. What do you wish to have a dream? Or even in a place? What if you have a beautiful color? Somewhere in a new place? Or in another country? Would it be amazing and exciting to meet him? Her? Or them? How many different kinds of help? By the way. Many lookalikes earn a living by making guest appearances at public events. <laughs> or by performing on television. Melky, what's the problem? Problem? Ano ba? Did I <laughs> Hindi nagtatali ang mga boto. Ah, uh, ganun po talaga ang eleksyon. May nananalo, may natatalo. May natataya. Oh. Or film, playing the person they resemble. featured a young man by the name of William Spencer who would be the star of a very wild journey eventually leading him to being a stuntman in major blockbuster films. In today's video we will explore the crazy story of William Spencer. 
William's stunt work in The Amazing Spider-Man had definitely solidified his career in the film world. Especially in politician. A celebrity. Or royalty. Previous winner, uh, the winners just need to embrace it. They've got some free flights and they can go anywhere that EasyJet flies, so they're going to make the most of it. Jesus Kivenko, a native of Negros Occidental, first met Ferdinand Marcos when his friend Celay Mayor Romulo Goles accompanied him to the Marcos residence in the 1960s. Tunay na nangyari sa kasaysayan na nagkaroon ng kadobol si dating Pangulo Ferdinand Marcos. Hindi ito doppelganger, kundi ito ay ang naging part-time job ni Jesus Kevenko ng Negros. Base sa tala ng kasaysayan, nag-umpisa ang lahat ng makilala ni Pangulong Marcos si Mang Jesus noong 1960 sa pamamagitan ng kaibigan ng Pangulo na si Romulo Goles. Sa panahong iyon, miyembro rin ng Nationalista Party si Goles at nakaupong alkalde ng Sinai City. During that time, then Senator Marcos just made his bid for the presidency. While he was waiting at the living room, Kivenko met Nationalist Party delegates from Mindanao, who later shook his hands, thinking that he was the real Marcos. Their striking resemblance gave him the experience, occasionally, to act as stand-in for his famous lookalike during his presidency. Panahong yun, senador pa lamang si Marcos at nagpaplanong kumandidato bilang pangulo nang isama ni Goles si Mang Jesus sa konvensyon ng kanilang partido. Isinama rin ang alkalde si Mang Jesus sa tahanan ng mga Marcos sa lungsod ng San Juan kung saan nakabangga ang balikat rin niya ang iba pang delegado ng Nationalist Party mula sa Mindanao. Nagulat na lamang si Mang Jesus nang lapitan siya ng ilang politiko at kinamayan siya sa pag-aakalang siya. Si Marcos, para hindi mapahiya ang mga lumapit sa kanya, nagipagkamay na rin siya pabalik bilang pagpapakita ng paggalang at kasabay nun ang kanyang pagtatama sa kanilang maling akala. People are fascinated with lookalikes.
Canadian photographer named Francis Brunel is on a mission to find 200 doppelgangers around the world. Okay, excellent. Brunel is shooting a series of photographs on doppelgangers. His subjects are not twins. Charlie Chasen and Michael Malone are not even related. Our mothers don't see the resemblance. <laughs> and when I met Charlie, I didn't see the resemblance either. Christy Walker and Stephanie Kazar aren't either. It's very rare that you find your own twin, especially living, and she's originally from Ohio and I'm from Georgia. It is not about looking like famous people, he explains. The fact that two persons, totally unrelated to each other, sometimes born in different countries, share the same physical appearance is really the essence of the project. Yeah. The 64-year-old photographer had the idea for the project after someone said he looked like the actor Rowan Atkinson's character, Mr. Bean. He didn't see the resemblance at first. Have you found that people have a longing to have a, a double? Some people, yes. People want some kind of a connection. Yes, absolutely. The government of Colombia in South America commissioned Brunel to shoot an advertising campaign to promote harmony. They found lookalikes who often were meeting for the first time during the shoot. The tagline of the campaign, let's choose to see what we have in common. So for now, the photographer continues to remind us how much alike we all really are. Project Twin Strangers crew believe that every person has seven doppelgangers or lookalikes scattered across the globe. Through the power of social media, one member found that the resemblance between her and her lookalikes wasn't just uncanny, it was unnerving. So this lovely girl named Louise, I got in touch on the site, so I had a crazy idea, why not go fly a meter? The aura, call that, call that. It's very similar. I feel it. I broke down, right? A couple of tears. This is crazy, hung it so much, and I don't even like. No, this is this is insane. La distanza sembrava proprio lui. Vedete, era simile. Oh, oh, oh. It was my second twin stranger, and you think I would have been prepared from the first. I just got really, really nervous for meeting her because, you know, what does she think of me as well? You know, would I live up to her expectations? Oh my god. So great to meet you and meet your face. <laughs> we have this thing in our cheek here, yeah, this little line. And here, and here. Scientists don't have clear explanation about why we have local legs. But the fact that we are all created in God's image reveals that we are brothers and sisters. Identical or non-identical? In many ways! Dear Father, help me to bear a resemblance to your divine image and character as your child. Amen. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Did you know, doppelgangers derived from the German language, which means look alike, or someone that looks the exact same as another person, yet not a twin. Urban Dictionary. Hello program! Thank you for watching Prophesy 7. I am James Albert A. De La Rosa. Zine Jane De La Rosa. James Mark A. De La Rosa. And please like, share, comment, and to subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Bye bye! Thank you! Mahal ko kayo!